Hi, my name is Kate Lovett, and I'm a software engineer on the Flutter team. I've been working on a new feature in Flutter that isn't quite ready yet, but I recently gave a talk with the team on the prototype and how it's coming together. In the spirit of how open Flutter is, I'm here to share that same talk with all of you in a behind the SDK look at development on the Flutter team. So what is the new feature? Given my penchant for scrolling, you may have already guessed it. It's two-dimensional scrolling in Flutter, which we don't actually have a widget for yet. Now, some of you may be thinking, Kate, I know how to scroll in two dimensions in Flutter. If I play something that scrolls horizontally inside of something that scrolls vertically like this, ta-da, I can scroll in two dimensions. We did it. I guess that's everything, so thank you for coming, and be safe getting home. Or did we? <laughs> in some cases, this type of composition works really well, but more often, it requires a lot of knowledge of the inner workings of scrolling in Flutter in order for it to work in all cases. For example, are you listening to scroll notifications? If so, you need to account for the notification depth since each scroll view creates its own viewport. What about lazy loading? Lazily laying out children in a scroll view is paramount to a performance scrolling UI. And in some cases, developers have found themselves choosing to sacrifice lazy loading when creating their own two-dimensional scroll views. There is more too. Since widgets like scroll bars and overscroll indicators use scroll notifications, they too can experience unexpected behavior based on where they are in this subtree, such as the vertical scroll bar hiding all the way over here at the end of the horizontal scroll view. You also might need a scroll controller to keep positions in sync, such as when stacking list views that are horizontal inside of a vertical list view. Lastly, diagonal scrolling. This won't work here without a lot of intervention. Like I said, this can work for some cases, but we want to provide something better that doesn't have all of these gotchas. A place where folks have been experiencing most of these gotchas has been on desktop or web on desktop, when building tables and trees. Some of you may be thinking, Kate, we've already solved this too. There is of course the data table widget as well as the expansion panel list. You would be right. Indeed, these are great widgets, but these widgets don't scroll. They are designed to fit within the bounds of the screen. You can apply the nested scrolling pattern we looked at earlier and it can work for some use cases, but doing so would be a case of not lazily laying children out. If the data table or expansion list is very large, even if we can't see it all when we place it inside of a scrolling widget, Flutter would be doing a lot of unnecessary work building the entire contents. Again, these are fine widgets for the right use case, but we want something a little different here. So what we've been working on is a table view and a tree view widget. And not only those, but a whole bunch of other things in between. Now, I have to note, this here is subject to change. The design has not been finalized yet, and so this is just what it looks like right now in this stage. We have a two-dimensional scrollable as well as a two-dimensional viewport base. These are meant to not only be used by the table and tree implementations, but also for other developers to extend or build on top of it, whatever they can imagine. What we've built on top of them is the tree view and the table view API, and even a tree table of view. They're designed to just work right out of the box without all of the special handling that I mentioned earlier. They'll have unified scrolling notifications, lazily lay out their children, scroll along locked axes, or optionally, they'll be able to scroll diagonally and everywhere in between wherever you would like to scroll. Sounds great, right? Let's take a look. All right, so here we are. I have a fairly simple Flutter app running here on my desktop, and 
I've been actually using the new table and tree view APIs in order to keep track of this fairly sizable project. So let's take a look at the table first. I've actually been using it to keep track of all of the various issues on GitHub, their feature requests or bugs from other inefficient scrolling compositions that folks have been reporting. And if you'll notice, I can move in any direction I would like with my trackpad. And it all moves nice and smoothly and lays out all of these individual cells on demand. I have these big chunky scroll bars to kind of indicate more so what's happening behind the scenes as far as unified scroll notifications and smooth performance. And of course, since I'm on Mac, you'll see we have that familiar bouncy scroll physics that uh, everyone expects in their scroll behavior on Mac. As far as our tree view, I've been using it to keep track of all of the resources, the various design documents, the feature lists, and sample code. And in this case, I've been borrowing a bit from Material 3, which you may have heard something about. And as you can see right now, I'm scrolling in one dimension, but as I open up more and more levels in this directory, it will expand to accommodate all of my content in both dimensions. So, these are almost finished, and we're really excited about them, but we have a little bit more work to do here. So what's next? We've been gathering feedback from developers on the proposed API first. We want to know when working on a big new feature like this, what makes sense, what doesn't? How do folks want to use this? And what features are really important so we don't leave anything out? From there, a fair bit of refinement and polish and the usual rounds of design review. For the latest updates, follow the 2D scrolling project on GitHub. Thanks for checking out this new feature, coming soon in a future release of Flutter. I hope that you are as excited as I am about it. For other looks behind the SDK, check out some of our other talks like Multi-Window and Impeller. And as always, for all things Flutter, visit flutter.dev.